So you've got a plate with some zones of inhibition surrounding antibiotic discs, and you'd like to figure out how sensitive or resistant is my bacteria to these antibiotics. So the way we do that is by uh, just measuring the size of the zone of inhibition. So I've got a ruler here. Um, so here we see an E. coli plate with a couple antibiotic discs. We'll use this one here, tetracycline, as an example. So I'll take the ruler and just line it up so that I'm measuring the whole diameter of this zone of inhibition. I'm going to say that's about 23 millimeters. So uh, tetracycline gives a 23 millimeter zone of inhibition. In your supplement, you'll find um, a table with different sizes of zones of inhibition for different types of antibiotics. And that'll help you kind of define, you know, this bacteria is sensitive or resistant or intermediate to uh, these different antibiotics. One other thing I want to show you, see this plate, the zone of inhibition actually goes off the edge of the plate. So how would you measure the diameter of the zone of inhibition here? Well, what you would do is uh, you would just measure to the center of the disc, which would give you the radius of the zone of inhibition, and then multiply that by two to get the diameter.